Now I'm going to glue up the extension, and in this case, there was no extra metatarsal pads, cutouts on this particular sample, and if so, um, we would be placing pads like this in the proper place. We would be cutting out cutouts, uh, could be um, for a second metatarsal head over here. We would grind that out. The doctor asked us to grind out for the fifth. We would grind out a pocket here, like we did on this one right here. But in this case, it's just a plain one. As you can see, when you're doing 20 or 40 years during the day uh, with my crew here, it's all hand work. It's a lot of time to produce these. Now again, just to show you, this area here is all carved out. This is for the fifth. This is for the first. already glued the tops. It's a special cement so we could put it together within five minutes to eight hours. Because when we're doing when we're doing 30, 40 pairs a day, you have to keep lining up the work on the shelves behind me. And the other two rows in the back, it's not in the picture and two more behind them you keep pasting keeping them together though with the set with the cast very important to get the edge and we're going to cut and wait a couple minutes for this to dry Okay, we're now going to put the top one. I'm only heating this so I can put it around the heel without getting any wrinkles. The cement will stick. And this is uh, blue perforated. It's a, it's a thinner top. With holes in it. Foam. Which is going to be going on the, on the on the on the EVA. Okay, so at this point, I have to line it up so I can so I can center the. Now we're going to take Dr. M's polyethylene semi-flexible. As you can see, it flexes. And you don't have to warm up the Spenco because I don't really have deep heel cups like the X15. Now the secret with the Spenco is, is to put it down and get all the air pockets out. So the 
you have to work the whole bottom. Now we're going to cut the Spanko off, which we have to leave hang out a little extra. Again, everything's still being done by hand. So when doctors ask me, uh, if I order 10, can we save any money? Unfortunately, I can't set up a jig and have 10 of them made automatically. Every time we do it, it's the same time, same amount of material, same hand cutting, same sanding. Now we're gonna take it over to the front machine and sand it all around. like you saw. Now we're going to go over and uh, put a round edge on this and then cut this off with the scissors by hand. Alright, now I'm just going to clean, clean off all this fuzz and put a rounded edge. <laughs>
go back to the other table and cut the fuzz off. All right, here's the completed product of the uh, X15 with the extension, bevel sides, all nice and clean. Uh, here's the first and fifth metatarsal, and this one's ready to be shipped out to the doctor. Now, when we use the Spenco, which is a pain in the neck, we have to hand cut all the fuzz off. Unfortunately, I tried electric shavers. The Rocco didn't work. So we're back to doing everything by hand. If I get a doctor in, if he wants a haircut, I'm pretty good at that, too. All right. Now, I don't know how many labs will invite doctors, but I invite doctors to come to the lab. I'll be back in a minute. I just want to touch this up with the sanding wheel. Be right back. <laughs> Here's the finished product. All suede, all posted, with our logo on it, and ready, ready to be labeled, checked out, and bagged.